the United Kingdom Ministry of Defence launched a £1.6 billion competition to acquire three new fleet solid support ships that will keep the Royal Navy two new aircraft carriers, HMS Queen Elizabeth and HMS Prince of Wales full of supplies while at sea. A new class of solid support ship will be required to replace the existing aging and incompatible fort class. Three new large solid support ships would be acquired for the Royal Fleet Auxiliary as part of the Military Afloat Reach and Sustainability Fleet Solid Support Program. A competition to build three new fleet solid support ships to provide vital support to Royal Navy operations across the world has been launched. These crucial Royal Fleet Auxiliary vessels will provide munitions, food, stores and provisions to support carrier and amphibious-based task groups at sea. Building on the commitment made in the recent Defence Command paper to create a shipbuilding renaissance, the DE&S-led competition will help revitalise British shipbuilding by requiring a significant proportion of the build and assembly work to be carried out in the United Kingdom. With a £24 billion multi-year settlement to modernise our armed forces, the competition is an exciting moment for United Kingdom industry to design and deliver a world-leading capability, securing highly skilled jobs and boosting homegrown skills. Speaking on board HMS Queen Elizabeth in Portsmouth, ahead of Carrier Strike Group's first operational deployment, Prime Minister Boris Johnson outlined the importance of fleet solid support ships. And Defence Secretary Ben Wallace said, As shipbuildings are, I am delighted to launch the competition for these crucial fleet solid support ships. These vessels embody our commitment to a truly global presence by supporting the Royal Navy's operations around the world. Designed to challenge the shipbuilding industry, DE and S have issued the contract notice inviting companies to register an interest in participating in the tender for the design and build of the ships, which will incorporate next generation technology. The successful bidder can work in partnership with international companies but would be required to integrate the ships in a United Kingdom shipyard. The government has already pledged to double the investment over the life of this parliament to more than £1.7 billion a year, providing a pipeline of work to sustain jobs and skills around the United Kingdom. This will be further supported by a refresh of the National Shipbuilding Strategy, to be published this summer, setting out the government's commitment to the United Kingdom shipbuilding enterprise and its supply chain. DE&S Director General Ships, Vice Admiral Chris Gardner, said, The launch of the Fleet Solid Support Competition presents a really exciting opportunity for the shipbuilding industry to support the design and build of a new class of ship that will primarily resupply our Queen Elizabeth-class aircraft carriers. It is also another step in implementing the national shipbuilding strategy and increasing our domestic maritime construction capacity and capability alongside the Type 26 and Type 31 programs already underway. The fleet solid support ships will join the HMS Queen Elizabeth Carrier Task Group, carrying out replenishment at sea to supply stores and ammunition to sustain operations, which is essential to meeting the United Kingdom defence commitments. To do this, the ships will be able to transfer loads of more than two tonnes at a time while at high speed. Interested companies are now invited to register their interest to receive a pre-qualification questionnaire. Successful respondents will be invited to tender for competitive procurement contracts. These contracts will allow potential suppliers to develop designs and delivery plans, with a particular focus on providing United Kingdom social value through, for example, supply chain development, the creation of new jobs and skills, and contributions to carbon emission reduction targets, as outlined in the new Defence and Security Industrial Strategy. The Manufacture Contract Award is expected to be made within two years, following approvals. 
On 30 November 2018, the list of bidders for the contract was unveiled and selected. Three teals were set to compete for the contract award. A list of bidders was subsequently selected with a British consortium consisting of Babcock, BAE, Systems, Kamel Laird and Rolls-Royce. Fincantieri from Italy. Navanshire from Spain. Japan Marine United Corporation. Daewoo Shipbuilding and Marine Engineering from South Korea. In May 2019, Fincantieri and Daewoo Shipbuilding and Marine Engineering withdrew from the fleet solid support ships competition. However, Fincantieri later rejoined. Ian Waddell, Secretary General of the Confederation of Shipbuilding and Engineering Unions, criticised the British government for continuing to encourage the involvement of shipyards abroad in the work. Waddell said, it is imperative that these ships are designed and built in the United Kingdom to pump money into the regional economy in every part of the United Kingdom and maintain our world-class workforce that recently completed an aircraft carrier program. If built in Britain, the Treasury will see a huge percentage return through tax and national insurance from workers and companies throughout the United Kingdom supply chain, including British Steel. The involvement of shipyards overseas will only complicate matters and mean continuous uncertainty for the many yards that depend on their hooves.